Today we are going to learn about deriving and using formula. What do you mean by formula? A formula is a mathematical rule that shows the relationship between two or more quantities or variables. Variables as you know you can tell like uh, alphabets x, y, anything. Variable means it can vary, it can change according to. Okay, so here I have given one example for formula that is x plus 6, 2x plus y. You can tell any, any, any examples. It's up to you. Okay, now when you substitute numbers into formulas and expressions, you have one rule that is big mass. B I B M A S. You have to learn like big mass, but each alphabet has one one words. That means B means brackets. See, brackets and indices must be worked out. First is you have to use the bracket and indices. What do you mean by indices? I wrote here. Indices means as you know it's 2 square, 3 square. Whichever numbers will be having powers that is mean by indices. Okay. So whenever you are getting a question you have to first solve the bracket and the indices. Okay. Then after that you have to go to the division and multiplication. Then at last you have to work for addition and subtraction. That is big mark. Bit mass, right? Bit mass. B I D M A F. B for brackets, I for indices, B for division, M for multiplication, A addition. A. Now, you can just see one question. Work out the value of the expression 2x plus 4y when x equal 5 and 2 equal y equal minus 2. This is the question. So, from the question, you know this is the expression that is 2x plus 4y. This is the expression. And it is given that for each value, what is the value for x? It's given. What is the value for y? It's given. What is the value of x? x equal 5. What is the value of y? y equal minus 2. Now take the expression 2x plus 4y. 2x plus 4y. Yeah? Then after that, instead of x, what is x? What is the value of x? x is 5. So instead of x, put 5. What is the value of y? y is minus 2. So instead of y, put minus 2. That means you can see here 2 multiplied by 5. Instead of x, put 5. Instead of y, put minus 2. Now, what is 5 multiplied by 2? It's 10, then plus. 5 multiplied by minus 2 will get minus 8. That means you can see here minus and plus. Together, if you are getting what to do, it's minus. So 10 minus 8. Means you will get 2. Put any symbol, so the answer is 2. Now you have one homework that is exercise 2.6, page number 28, question number 1, B to F. Another example you can see. What are the values of the expression 3x the power of 2 or x square plus 4 when x equal 10? So the expression is given and they have given the value for x also. So it's easy to find. Take the expression. 3x the power of 2 plus 4. Yeah? What is the value of x? Value of x is 10. So instead of x, put 10. You know the rule that is big mass. Brackets and indices should be done first. So 10 raised to 2. That you have to do first itself. Convert 10 raised to 2. What is 10 raised to 2? That is 10 multiplied by 10. You will get 100. Then do the balance of that one. Just multiply it. 3 multiplied by 100 means you will get 300. Then 300 plus 4 you will get 304. That's it. Then one more question. From exercise we are doing one more ex uh, example. See work out the value of each expression for the given values. This will be the question. Okay. See the first question. P plus 5 and P equal minus 3. Expression is given and the value for P is also given. What to do? P plus 5 is the expression. The value of p is given minus 3. So instead of p, put minus 3. So what to do? Minus 3 plus y. Minus and plus. If minus and plus comes, what to do? You have to do minus. 5 minus 3, 2. Which is the greater number? 5. What is the symbol for 5? It's